Welcome to Facebook Ads Friday week 13. So every single week we take a look at two proven tried and tested Facebook ad creatives that are selling dropshipping products. These are Facebook ads which have millions of views, thousands of comments. However, the best thing about these ad creatives are uh, they are all still active. So they are brilliant for product research. What you're going to see in this video essentially is two proven dropshipping products that are ready to go and start selling with today. To help you get started as quickly as possible, get your business off the ground and make the most of 2023, I will also be showing you where to source these products and also the Shopify stores that are selling these products. So essentially you're gonna see all of the inner workings, all of the components to a successful business around these products. So this of course includes the marketing ad creative, it includes the product itself, it includes the Shopify store design, the product description, the layout, everything, the ideal selling price. And of course, I'll give you the AliExpress supplier too. So you know exactly what the product costs you, exactly what the ideal price to sell it for is. And therefore you can work out what's left in the middle to spend on your ads. Like I mentioned in the intro, this is week 13. You guys seem to be enjoying these videos. So every week I will continue to produce them. So if you want two guaranteed winners every single week to pop up on your YouTube dashboard, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like as well. With that being said then guys, thank to tuning in and let's jump straight into product number one. Okay, so product number one is perfect for this time of year. If you're based in the UK like myself, this is a product which is gonna continue to sell really, really well at least for the next two to three months. Let's kick it off by taking a look at the creative itself. I'm just gonna mute the music. And essentially what we can see is kind of like skiing trousers. They're winter trousers that have a waterproof lining on the outside, but have like a fleece material on the inside. So they keep you warm, they keep you dry. And I believe they have some other function and features as well, which is shown in a second. Zip up pocket so you don't got to worry about losing your phone. All in all, a pretty decent, a pretty useful product. They've got different hooks and things or if you are skiing for your ski passes, that sort of thing. All in all, a pretty genuinely useful product and a product that people have a need for, a product that people want to buy. And this is reflected in the engagements and the comments section. If we have a look on the right hand side, we can see 80,000 reactions. It was started on December 6th. So I believe as I record this video about two weeks ago. So this is a significant amount of viewership in the space of two weeks, 80,000 reactions, 13,000 comments and 15 million views. A post doesn't get this level of viewership and engagement unless somebody's spending a significant amount of money on it. And nobody spends that kind of money unless they're seeing a return for it. Let's just double check inside the comment section and see how many people are buying this thing, see what people think, what the feedback is. Um, some pretty kind of generic comments that don't really help us up to this point. Somebody saying, I need this. I have two miniature schnauzers who demand their walk. So there's a perfect marketing angle for a product like this. You could buy a pair and if you have a dog, take out for a walk and just show kind of like real um, life cases for it. Charlotte said she got hers, um, thought they were 20 pounds, turned out to be $35. Not sure how, where the confusion is. Um, anyway, it's irrelevant. I'm UK size, so it seems to be like a lot of UK people um, buying this. 28 waist and ordered a medium. What size do I order, please? I got one yesterday, another person has bought this product. Amber Jones said she ordered a pair, this was one day ago. What we can see is all of these comments are very recent as well. So it just goes to show this is a current proven product that is active and ready to go, an ideal perfect to start selling today. What we can see is there's a lot of people asking what size. This is definitely, definitely, definitely gonna harm their conversion rate. So we'll take a look at their store in a second, but my advice for anybody wanting to sell and pursue this product, you need to have a super slick and obvious size chart so people don't have to come back and leave a comment. You want to make the purchase process as simple as possible for people. So I went ahead and found the product on AliExpress. We can see you can buy it for 11 pounds and six with 4.45 shipping. So you're talking all in for about 15 pounds. This is with an on-time guarantee as well, 15 days. The store itself, this Amor Sapatos store, it's not a brilliant store. However, it has been in business for a couple of years. So they are doing something right, even if their feedback ratings aren't great. I say this in all of my videos though, AliExpress is just a starting point for your product research. Once you've got the products link, send it out to all the different agents, CJ, BS, 
Zendrop, whoever it might be, if they haven't got it on their platform, ask them, see if they can source it for you. And we can see this is an identical product by the fleece lining inside. And it even has that kind of like new sport label for where the pockets are as well. As somebody who has a dog and walks in regularly in the worst weather conditions, I can generally say there is a need and demand for products like this and plenty of different angles for it too. You can target people who like to go skiing and snowboarding, people who camp, people who own dogs and take them for walks. There's loads and loads of different applications for this, lots of different angles for marketing material. So up to this point, we've seen how to advertise it. We've seen that people are buying it. We can see that we can buy it get it delivered to our customer for 15 pounds. Let's now take a look at how to put this on our Shopify store and what the ideal selling price is. So this is the store selling this product. This is the landing page that that Facebook ad creative we just watched is sending people to. It's a company called Cake Lane. I quite like their logo actually, how they've like cut off the bottom half of it. It's quite fashionable and quite original as for the actual design and layout of the store though um, i don't want to put down on these guys but it is a very simple and basic layout anybody watching this video is definitely capable of replicating this store and even producing something a bit more professional than this they're selling the product for 33 pounds we saw we could get it delivered for 15 so there's in and around sort of 20 pound profit margin which isn't too bad this is for an extra small as well if we go up to a large they're still selling it for the same price so it actually makes no difference and what we can see the reason why people are asking so much about size is because there's no like reference to how big a large is unless you scroll through the images which most people won't do i can tell you that as a fact until they get all the way to the to the actual size guide people are having to go back to the post so these guys need to invest in like a five pound per month app to put a little icon in this description that people can click and show this size guide make it as obvious and easy as possible for people to buy this product let's take a look at the description then because it's definitely not a traditional layout they have so many different fonts so many different colors so many different flashing things so many different kind of levels of scarcity and just lots of different things going on. Um, they have this kind of commitment to 5% of each order will be donated to UNICEF, which is a really nice touch. It doesn't look very professional though, in my opinion, like everything's a bit mismatched. This looks like an image. In fact, it is an image. I'm not sure why they've put an image there for product description rather than text. However, just goes to show if you have a really good product that people have such a strong demand for, even with a less than perfect Shopify store, you can still be very successful. Moving down, it gets a bit more traditional, just different kind of images of the product. They have some gifts at the top there showing the waterproof features, that sort of thing. Lots and lots going on. Finally, the size guide all the way down here. What you've got to think is on a mobile phone device. That's quite a long time. Somebody has to scroll down to actually find that information. Um, trust me, never underestimate how lazy your customers will be. Um, lots of different scarcity and promises and deals and satisfaction guarantees going on down here. Again, the information is good. I just think there would be a better way to display this and just in a more professional manner. What is also quite interesting to see on this store is there's actually no reviews for this product, um, which is very, very rare to see unless I've missed them somehow, but I don't think I have. So that's a must. It 100% influences people's buying decision. Make sure you include reviews on your Shopify store. And so that's product number one. We've seen the ad creative for the products. We've seen the product itself. We've seen how much it costs. We've seen how to sell it. We've seen the perfect proven or well, not so perfect but we've seen the proven product page layout essentially you've got all of the components there um, to go out and create a very similar business but a more professional business and obtain some of that success which we've seen these guys are definitely having let's move on to product number two product two then one of my favorite products to ever feature on the channel because it's so simple and yet effective and it's also going to be really cheap and really quick to get started with it's also super trending and perfect for this time of year here in the uk um, keeping my dog off the sofa is definitely tricky business and we can't keep on top of it all the time there's gonna be times where he jumps on without us looking or on the bed um, and after a walk when he's soaking wet covered in mud it's just a nightmare this is where this product comes in and offers a solution to that problem the reason why it's one of my favorite and i say it's so quick and easy to get started with is because this is the ad creative it's just a single image of a dog sitting on the mat on a sofa super easy to replicate super quick super cheap um, an ideal for any beginner on a low budget wanting to get started and dip their toes into drop shipping. If we take a look at the engagements, this is one place where it does fall down. However, this is made up in the comment section. So let's take a look. 
only 700 reactions, 250 comments and 35 shares. So still a decent amount to be honest. However, where this product shines and the reason why I back it so much is because in the comment section, let's take a look. So Nicola's posted a picture of her dog with the product. Sam has posted a picture of her dog with the product. Sandra says she has them for her sofas and they're brilliant. Sean's posted a couple of pictures of his dog with the product. Sarah has done the same. Joanne says she's purchased them in cream. Amanda says she has one excellent quality. Helen's posted a picture of her dog. Sam says they're highly recommended. Jackie says they're amazing. Kat's posted a picture. Kim says hers has just arrived. Bob says he's ordered two. Every single comment or almost every single one of these comments is from somebody who has seen this product and bought one. This is a product which is selling right now and there's no two arguments about it. Now where the difficulty lies with this product, and I'll be 100% honest about it, is actually sourcing it because I couldn't find a like for like replica on AliExpress. What I did manage to find though was a couple of products which are very similar. So the thing that sells this product, and this is what my starting point was, was the size of it and the material it's made out of. So what I searched for on AliExpress was a by 170 dog blanket sofa and as you can see we've found a couple of very similar ones so there's this one here which was three pound 80 as you can see it's kind of that still that kind of soft pile um, material and it I believe it is the right dimensions um, in fact let's open up a couple of these a super cheap product which is good um, and a super easy product to ship as well. So as you can see here, a large, you can get delivered for 11.39 and that's 100 by 75 centimeters. It's made out of pretty much the same material. So with a bit of added time and research and contacting a few more different suppliers, I'm sure you will be able to find something that was pretty much spot on. We also have another supplier here for the same size, nine pounds and seven, shipping 152 and that's with an on-time guarantee too. So you're looking in and around sort of 10, 11, maybe even 12 pounds delivered. If we jump onto the Shopify store selling this product, we can see, I'm just gonna refresh this page. This looks like a weird layout. So I've just checked actually using Koala Expector and this isn't a Shopify store, which leaves many kind of open opportunities for dropshippers, for us, for people who use Shopify, because in my mind, it is a superior platform. If we just take a look at the overall kind of feel and look of this store, to be honest, without being too harsh, I think this looks a bit dated, a bit unprofessional. But again, it goes back to how I mentioned for the previous products, people are willing to look past that if they have a product which they want so badly. So just to scroll down then, let's have a look at how they're helping to sell people on this. They have a note about Christmas delivery, which is brilliant, um, a very short description, and oh, that's actually it. <laughs> There's nothing else on top of that. Just that, and let's take an additional information, the weight and the dimensions. So a super simple, a super easy product description. But like I mentioned, just goes to show, say, people are buying this product, people love this product. So it's definitely a great product to get started with. If it was me using the Shopify platform with the use of added apps, you could build on this and expand on this and create something just a bit more professional looking. So as we saw, you can buy this product for in and around sort of 10, 12 pounds. These guys are selling it for 35, which leaves a comfortable margin of 20 pounds or so, uh, maybe a little bit more, which definitely makes it a viable product for Facebook, which we know anyway, because start from the beginning and then we've seen the Facebook ad creative, a very straightforward and easy to create single image. We've seen the product, we've seen where to source it from, and we've seen the ideal selling price and product description for it as well. And with that being said, that wraps up week 13 of Facebook Ads Friday. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope I've given you some inspiration and motivation to go out there and start your own business. If you want some added extra help, you've got to check out my free training. It's the top link in the video description down below. It's one to two hours long. Bring a notepad because we cover tons I also give you a copy of 194 profitable product ideas for 2023, just like this one. It will show you how to start from scratch and get your business up and running in the next three weeks. If you enjoyed the video and the topic, make sure you subscribe to come back next Friday for another two proven product videos. Make sure you drop a like if you liked it. Thanks again, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, have an awesome rest of the year. Have an awesome 2023 and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.